Okay, with the last video, we had our final results table. All we need to do now is to get it out of NIME into Excel so we can share it with our colleagues. Once again, using the Excel Writer for that. The problem we're facing is that not everybody seems to recognize what a great tool NIME is. Although that is a pity, it is also to a certain extent understandable. And some people might get overwhelmed with too many tools. And that's why we want to make it easy for our colleagues and export our workflow or the results to Excel, a format everyone in procurement should be able to deal with. So let's quickly switch to NIME and I show you how you can use the Excel writer note in append mode. All right, so here we once again and for a very last time. <laughs> Crying. Um, in our workflow we have created together so far and we want to reuse the Excel writer node we already have used once and rather than going to the node repository like we've done in the past few videos let's just copy and paste this little body here the red Excel writer node so it's just like control C and then control V and you have it here so we just have to connect it we put it here at the end of our workflow and we connect it to the sorter node we covered in the last video. In case you're not aware of the sorter node in the last video, um, it will be linked somewhere here above. So if you want to have a look at this video, make sure to go there. Also, um, I will link the overall uh, starting session of all these videos um, and this online course uh, in the video description. But we wanted to cover the Excel writer note. So first, let's change the label. We select the label and press F2 to change it. And the label here basically will be append results um, to base data file. Because what we want to do is we don't want to create just another file. We want to use the one we have used up here and append another Excel worksheet to the file itself. So let's just open it up. So this is what you can see here. This is the old file. Very important. Of course, this is a local path, meaning yours probably had, does not have if you store it on your local system, you need to change the, the file path here because by just clicking browse and selecting the right place, because obviously you are not me and you have a different computer with a different username. So what we want to do is we do not want to overwrite. Instead, we want to append the data that comes in at the input part here. So that means appending here in this case in the Excel writer means we will append another table sheet. All right, so sheets will be in append as well. And we will call this sheet, of course, PMT improvement. Everything else basically stays the same. And let me just um, click this little body here, open file after execution, so we can see it once it runs. So let's just let it run, right click and execute. So it writes to the existing file and we should now have two tabs in here. You can see it here. We do have two tabs. We have the original base file with its thousand rows of data, um, which we have saved early on in this online class. And here is also the result of our sorted table on which um, vendors we should focus our PMT negotiation efforts. So we now have this one here as well. So let me close that up because I just want you to see what you have achieved. It's a huge achievement. You are now much more advanced than a lot of your colleagues who are not taking these course or this course because you know a lot of things about desktop automation. Let's just quickly go through what each of these nodes does. First of all, in this green workflow annotation here, we import our PVO report, we import our material field catalog, and we import our payment term description catalog. Then in the row filter, we delete the sum that comes out of our ERP system. Then first we join in the material field catalog. Then we join in the um, PMT descriptions into the resulting file, which we can see here. 
then we create a new column by manipulating text because we're putting together the PMT um, code plus the description. Then we tidy up some columns using the column filter. Then we resort the column order and then we have basically our base file ready. It's not yet condensed, but it's cleaned, so to say. And that's where we make a first export with this Excel writer node. Then we have the multi rule engine here where we say, okay, we don't want to focus on all thousand line items. Instead, we want to focus on the ones that we need to delete. And that's an important lesson. So once again, I will link it up here in the video, um, the, the rule engine um, video. If you have not seen that, make sure to go there. After that, we delete all the rows that we don't need anymore that we have marked for deletion previously. Then we group the PVO sum and payment terms by vendor and payment terms day. So that's the pivot table we have discussed quite a bit. Then we calculate the cash flow improvement using a formula we have stolen from the interwebs. Then we once again group by the cash flow improvement by vendor. And finally, we sort by this new column by the cash flow improvement, showing us which vendor from a cash flow perspective makes the most sense to improve the payment terms. And then finally, write this to the existing file. That's what we have done in this lesson. All right, that's just one thing that remains to do. And that is just let this baby run once and for all to see how fast it is. We have taken a lot of time to create it. So now let's see how fast this automation is. And all you see, I reset all the nodes. So the one thing that remains to do is basically click this green double arrow up here and see how fast the baby runs. And you see it, what was that? Um, like a second or so. That's the power of automation, my friends. Wow, there you have it. Less than 10 seconds for this automation to run. Just imagine how much time it would have taken you to do this manually using pivot tables and other spreadsheet functions. You now know a great set of tools you can apply not only to payment terms improvements, but also to other reporting or boring spreadsheet tasks. But before you leave, let me ask you a question. What would you be using Nime for? Leave a comment down below and I could provide you some tips maybe on how to do it in case you don't already know. So in the next chapter, we are going to discuss data types as this is an important concept. I will also show you how you can get help in case you have a question. Plus, and that's important, a free gift from me to you that you can only get from Procurement Zen. In module three, we will cover how to use flow variables. Don't worry, it's easier than it sounds. Plus, we will start exporting pre-formatted Excel tables in all these wonderful colors as well. And we will automate the automation under Windows so we don't even have to manually start the NIME application at all. So if you don't want to miss out on these great things, make sure to like and subscribe. It was a fun journey so far and it only gets funnier. So I'm really looking forward to the next sessions. See you then. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with NIME. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.